All right, good afternoon to those of you on the East Coast, and good morning to those of you that may be watching from the West Coast. My name is Dan Hirschberger. I am the Holzer Products Manager for Weinig Holzer, and we are coming to you today from our Expo West showroom here in Anaheim, California. And uh, we just wanted to show you a little bit of what's going on here today. We have a lot of activity in our showroom here, and we wanted to highlight some of the different machines that we have. And so at this point, we want to take a moment and talk about our Dynastic 7505 CNC machine here. You see running behind me in the background. This is a nesting machine. This machine comes in quite a, different, quite a few different uh, variations. The one that you see here behind me, this is called the Classic. This is just a, a machine where you would load a panel manually, and when it's finished, unload the parts. But you can even get more automated where you can have a push version where it literally pushes the finished parts off onto a conveyor. After it's finished, you can have an auto version where it would literally load the panel and unload the finished parts at the same time. Or you can even go as far as having a lift version where we have a, a lift table mounted next to the machine here. You would load an entire unit of material on the lift. The lift would rise up as needed. It would pick a sheet off the top of the lift, bring it onto the bed of the machine, cut the parts, and at the same time it's bringing those part, the new sheet in, it's pushing the finished parts off onto a conveyor table that removes them. So we got a little bit of a tight space here. We're trying to get a lot of machines in here. This is just the classic version. It just loads, you manually load the parts and manually unload them when they're finished. But this is a great machine. We have 12 different tool holders available, a 12 position tool changer. We've got 24 vertical spindles. We got horizontal spindles. So we've got a lot of versatility going on with the machine this morning. And so we've got a little demo going behind us. You can see, you can you get the machine in five by 10, five by 12. You're gonna get it seven by 10, seven by 12 machine models. So a lot of different variations based upon what your production needs are. And you can see how the machine works. We have uh, the control tower right here in front of us that has our program, our software. We are uh, very capable of connecting with all of the common softwares that are in use in our marketplace today. So no matter what software you might be using to program the machine, we can certainly connect with those, download directly to the machine and run your parts. Also, we have an onboard software itself we call Campus, which allows you to write your programs right here at the machine and run those parts. So you can see it operating behind me here. We're making a little nest. Actually, the nest that we're doing, we're using a special tool while we're cutting these parts this morning. And you can see this is a special tool that uh, we'll demonstrate when the nest is finished. You can uh, look at this tool and see what this does. It actually creates a, a vortex of air and it helps to eliminate and to remove some of the dust that's in the, the cut line with the router. So you can see you get a much cleaner cut out of the machine. So you can see this tool right here. We, uh, well, that's what we're currently using. Actually, we're gonna be dual cutting with and without this tool. So when, when this nest finishes, we can walk over here. You can look in the nest and see the difference between using this tool and not using it. It helps to remove the sawdust much better. Uh, I don't think we're actually running the dust collection right now because we've got a lot going on in the showroom trying to keep the noise down, but you can see what we're, what we're doing and what, we, uh, what our capabilities are. So as I said here, as our control panel here, you can see it's nice where it's uh, on wheels. We can move it around, very convenient. No matter where your operator stands, we can uh, position the control and you can see. So we can see live on the screen here what's actually happening. You can see a, a picture uh, superimposed on the screen of the nest. You can see behind me here, you can see some of the nests being cut as the router is working through the machine. We have a 15 horsepower air-cooled router on, on this machine, so we have plenty of capacity for uh, anything that our typical customer might need to machine and might need to cut. So a uh, very versatile machine, lots of capability. Uh, with a 12 position tool holder, uh, we have a lot of different possibilities that we can do with different tools. Uh, typically right now we're using it for nesting, but you do have the ability if you want to position part, you could put individual vacuum cups in the bed of the machine, raise parts up and uh, 
position them or machine those as well. So lots of flexibility and lots of versatility with the machine. It's almost done running the nest right now and we can walk over there and step in and see the nest once it's finished and uh, get a look at the, the parts here. Once we get finished with this, we're gonna walk over here to our 7405 vertical CNC and see how that uh, does. So here's the nest finish. We're gonna take and hopefully we can get the camera here and we can walk over and Octavio's working with us today. You can point out and show us the difference between those cuts that were made with that special vortex type tool and uh, come around the back side here. Come on, Christian, stay with me. All right, yeah, it's very obvious if you look here. Here, hold on. Hi, good morning. So here you can see these cuts were made with our tool, with the specialty tool that we use, the turbine tool. So you see they're very clean. You don't see any dust inside, all right? Now if we compare it with the cut that we did with our normal dust collection only tool, you know, or normal HSK holder tool, you can see here that there's still dust inside. And this can promote, you know, uh, chipping of the melamine board. This can promote some other stuff. So it's also a mess to clean up when you finish. So you see all the dust in there and you compare it with the tool. We don't see almost no dust, very clean cut. So really nice, really nice tool. Great. So if take the tools out so we can see. Yeah. So now we'll release the vacuum and you can see. Just check the level of cleanliness in the area. Now if we compare it with a normal tool with no, uh, with no turbine collection, you can see here the amount of dots we have in there. So uh, yeah, that tool really works very yeah. well. There's, as you can see, it's very plain. There's a very distinct difference with and without that special tool. When you're doing a lot of nesting, it can really make a huge difference in keeping your spoil board clean. Uh, it pushes all the dust up into the dust collection system and it really makes a big difference. So something to consider. We're running that tool here today and it really makes a good example of the benefits of that type of tool. So now we're just gonna kind of turn around here to this machine behind our camera, which is our Evolution 7405. Maybe you're not a nesting customer. Maybe you're not cutting your parts on a, a flat table nested base router such as we just demonstrated with the 7505 our dynastic and maybe you're cutting parts on a table saw and uh, you want to you have to cut them first and then you want to do some machining so this is a perfect machine for that scenario where we have the vertical CNC here our evolution series 7405 and there's some really unique features about this machine that we need to uh, point out to you today one thing that really distinctly separates the 7405 from every other vertical CNC in the market is the fact that we hold our parts with vacuum cups you can see over here maybe we can come in a little closer Christian you can see the part being fed into the machine there and the vacuum cups are on the back of that part holding it as opposed to other manufacturers that literally use clamps that clamp around the edge of the part by us holding the part with the vacuum on the back we can literally machine on all four edges without moving or rotating the part. So you can see here behind it. So this machine has a six position tool changer and then a garage at the bottom where we can put an aggregate in there. And in just a minute, we'll talk about the aggregate that we have in this machine. And you can see, but we have vertical and horizontal machining. So we can do end panels very easily, but end panels are real common. Everybody can do that. What this machine has the capability of doing are these special connectors like this. So you can see now where we just drilled the hole and this is called a cabaneo. I think is the correct term for this. This is a cabaneo part. And these are really great um, fasteners and we just were able to machine it. This is what it's by Lamello. It's a, a special fastener that really works well. And with this machine, we can easily program it. We also have, uh, we also have the ability with this machine, with the aggregate that we have, uh, the ability to do these other lamello fasteners like the Clamex. Everybody is, um, if you're familiar with these Clamex type of fasteners, they're really great for knockdown type of fittings. Uh, and you can do, we can do the, the Tenso, 
the P system, all of these different various connectors that LaMelo makes, which are really easy and very nice to use, especially for your knockdown type of cabinets. Uh, we have the ability to do that here with the aggregate on this machine. I wonder if Octavio, can you pull that aggregate out so we could take a look at it? Or, yeah. So we have the aggregate right here, and you can see how this works. It fits up in this vertical uh, CNC. And what's nice about, come on up here, Christian, you can see this better. You can see here, these are the vacuum cups that are on the back of the panel that hold the part in place. And based on the size of your part, these panel, these vacuum cups separate to properly hold your panel. And then um, they come in different sizes. They rotate to hold your parts depending upon the size and the dimension of your pieces. And then this moves back and forth. So we can uh, load our part on this end and the finished part will come back out on this side. Or we can load our part on this end and the finished piece will come out on the opposite end. We have a barcode scanner here. Makes it real easy. The parts come off of our panel saw with a label and a barcode. We scan the label, feed them into the machine, and then it's um, it, very easy, very convenient. So Octavio has taken a minute here. He's put the tool, the aggregate, in the garage down there. You can see there it is right there. You see the saw blade. This is what we use for those Clamex Lamello uh, fasteners. And so then it gives us a lot of versatility with this machine to do a lot of different parts Certainly end panels are very common for cabinets, but we have a lot more that we can do with this with these special fasteners, which are really unique to the Holzer uh, Evolution 7405. So the fact that we have six tools in our standard tool holder and then that garage down there for the aggregate really gives this machine a lot of different capacities and a lot of different capabilities. So we encourage you, if you're in the area, to stop by today and take a look at us and talk to us and come and see the machines in person. If you're not anywhere near our showroom here in California, just contact us. We'd love to talk to you. Maybe you've seen something today that sparked your interest and you want to learn more about it. But thank you for taking a moment today and watching our video from our Expo West showroom here. In